everyone, Tams here. Wow, it is already mid-November. I don't know about you, but I am getting quite busy preparing for the holiday season season that's coming up. And this is the time of year when I really start gearing up for my planning for the new year. I'm one of those people that likes to um, give myself goals and resolutions, and so I start organizing for that now and basically what that has turned into is if you've been watching my channel you know I keep a Midori Traveler's Notebook and I use it as a journal but in 2017 I'm probably going to have several Midori Traveler's Notebooks for different purposes. I will continue to have my weekly journal that I enjoy very much. Um, I will also be converting my work notebook that I use for planning and projects into a Midori system. Um, I've been asked multiple times by people that want to see how I plan and keep notes and uh, honestly it's not all that um, Instagram or YouTube worthy but for the past couple of months I have been transitioning that over and I will share that with you in a couple of weeks. And lastly I am I have put together recently this uh, notebook to house all of my letter writing stuff. Now, for any of you that are new to my channel, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, my favorite pastime, because I spend so much time on the computer for work, my favorite pastime is to unplug and write letters to people. I'm a member of Letter Writers Alliance, and I have about 12 regular pen pals. And in my spare time, I often lead uh, free workshops uh, in my community just to encourage people to write letters. I also started doing those types of workshops with uh, several fountain pen shows this past year. That being said, uh, in 2017, I have been asked to be a part of an amazing group that's uh, forming in Tampa Bay called the Tampa Letter Writers Club. And I will link them below uh, because um, they have a Facebook page. And there's some amazing things coming up. Um, and if you're in the Tampa Bay area, you might want to follow along because there's going to be some cool uh, gatherings and meetups and more opportunities to just get together with like-minded people and write letters. So enough talk. I'm going to show you what I have put together because I'm finding that I'm having to um, reorganize how I keep all my letter writing stuff together for all these uh, fun activities. Um, so I have a notebook. Most of it has been handmade, the inserts, and I'm going to flip through it and then I'll take it apart and deconstruct it and I'll show you how I made this and put it together. Okay, here we go. For the first time ever, I have created what everyone in the planner community calls a dashboard and I just made one myself on the front. This is uh, the Midori pocket system and I'll take it apart and show you. I also have an envelope here. This is just an envelope I got from the post office and in here I have some mailing address labels. I always need those. Then I made this next insert just out of scrap material that I had. I had some, this is uh, scrapbook paper by Tim Holtz and I had learned and another letter writing meetup how to make these little folder pockets. So I just made a folder pocket and then put in some paper I had left over from another project and um, made a notebook. And in here, this is where I will from now on start tracking my incoming and outgoing mail because I totally screwed up my system this summer and I thought I had my act together, but because of um, a lot of the workshops I do and these videos, lovely people that um, I've never met before have been sending me the most beautiful mail and I got behind in responding. So I will, I am catching up. If you uh, are expecting a letter from me, I do apologize, but I am working hard to catch up and I think I'll be able to do that over the holidays because most people do not send mail during the holidays and that will give me some time to catch up. So thank you so much if you have sent me a letter. You don't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. So this notebook will be my log for uh, incoming and outgoing mail. Then I've got another, this is a Midori see-through envelope and I just love the look of the old vintage postcards. I collect them 
and I thought this made a pretty uh, window. But on the inside, what I do here is I put postcards because sometimes when you're at a social, you may want to send a postcard. Then I have my stamps, and I found a really cool trick. Now, most of these are vintage because I like to use vintage stamps. I buy them from Letter Writers Alliance. And then in Tampa, there's a store called the Paper Seahorse. I buy them there. But for the, you know, most current stamps, what I've done, I like them all, is I've just taken an old stamp sheet, the sticker, and I've just placed all different types of the new stamps I have. So I have a variety. And then if I'm at a social and someone needs a stamp, then voila, they have one. And then this is a, a Midori insert. I cannot remember the number. It's the plain one. And if I can find it, I'll link it below. I have simply covered it with some Tim Holtz tissue paper to give it a postal feel. And this is where I keep all my addresses. So I'm finding more and more I need a better way to keep up with addresses when I'm at these meetups and I can just go ahead and send people letters when I'm there and take advantage of that time. So that's the flip through and then I'll quickly deconstruct and show you how I put this together. All right, here are the various parts that make up the notebook. If you're not familiar with the Midori system, I think most people are by now, but it's basically a leather cover with an elastic system that allows you to insert various uh, notebooks and folders and things like that and carry them around and look like Indiana Jones, yay. <laughs> but I have just my old, very first Midori uh, standard brown cover, brown leather cover. I have the Midori zip pouch that you can buy. I'll link it, I'll link everything below that I did not hand make, um, if you're interested in that. And what I did here is I just made a collage as my dashboard. And then, of course, this is the side where I keep all the stamps. This is a Midori insert that I have covered just with Tim Holtz tissue paper. Normally, it's just a craft outside cover, and I just wanted to jazz it up a little bit. This is something I made with two envelopes, uh, and I taped them together so that they fold like a little insert, but this is a just a throwaway envelope from the post office and I decorated it and I left the side open to put labels and then this is the one where I keep the postcards. And then of course this is the notebook I handmade. I had leftover paper. I The cover is a folder trick that you can do with uh, any type of scrapbook paper and I will find an online demonstration for how to make this and link it be below. I've seen it in several places. And then all I did was just, you know, decorate the pages with some stamps that I have and some washi tape. And this, of course, will be moving forward. This will be my log for incoming and outgoing mail. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for those of you out there that are getting into snail mail and just having a good time and finding it sometimes hard to keep up with everything. This is my attempt to organize my little uh, snail mail hobby uh, better and to be more efficient. So thanks guys.